Chris Eubank Jr. against Liam Williams. Now, Colin, before we get into this, Mr. Jordan here, who knows more than a thing or two about the sport of boxing, you is it, am I going too far? You do not rate Eubank Jr. in world terms. No, I don't. I think he's. I think every time he stepped up. Not so, not so many times as Derek Chisora, and I made the accusation to Derek in person. Every time he stepped up to world level, whether it's um, Billy Joe Saunders, whether it's George Groves, he's lost. I think he writes checks with his mouth that his body doesn't cash, and we keep on hearing about these wonderful fights that he's going to have at world level when we don't see him. So I'm not a huge admirer. I wasn't a huge admirer of his father. I understood his father's achievements, but I'm not an admirer of Chris Eubank Jr. at world level. I think he's a competent fighter. An aggressive fighter, but I don't think he's a world-level fighter. What's your take, Colin? Well, I, I agree with what Simon said. The the only two defeats he's had were against world champions. Correct, yeah. Right, and they weren't bad world champions. No, good ones. Uh, so, you know, the Billy Joe Saunders fight was very close. I know, yeah, I know it was a nickname. He grew into that and fight, one or two he? good judges thought that he'd actually won it. Mm. So he's there or thereabouts. I do agree with you. I mean, he's not a hacker, <laughs> no. you know, by any means. But I think if he fought Golovkin now, Golovkin's nearly 40. You think he'd beat him? He'd have a very good chance of beating him. And, of course, this fight with Williams is what we call in the trade a pick and fight. Yeah. They're, they, they, uh, they're beautifully matched, and it, I think it's a great... Boxing has been dead since the whole of January, yep. and it's now kicking off this weekend with this excellent, competitive, all-British fight. And as you say, all through February, every weekend, there is something. Uh, worth watching. Why do you yes. think? I mean, do, yeah. you think, do you think they've put him into against Williams because he's going to Cardiff? He's fighting in Wales, right? I wouldn't have thought they'd have put him in against Williams if they thought he could actually be in real jeopardy. I'm surprised that well, they put him in. Williams is a good fighter, a domestic level good fighter. But then again, you you would say not world class because in his last fight he fought Andrade yeah. for the world title. He did, and well, was a good performance. Yeah. Well, he was well beaten. Yeah. And he was on the floor. He had to get up off the floor. He was brave. Oh, yes, he is brave. And I agree with you 100%. That's why I think Eubank is going to win on Saturday because he's going into Cardiff to fight Williams. And I don't think he would if, go into Cardiff if he didn't think he could to win. fight Williams if he didn't think he was good enough to beat him. And how, how, does, he, one, how does he compare problem. to his dad, Colin? Um, Eubank Jr. How does he compare to his father? Oh, his father was a much better fighter. <clears throat> I don't. I couldn't see Chris Eubank Jr. beating Nigel Benn. No, <laughs> no. Right. Yeah, when you put it that way. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, no. Well, he beat Nigel Benn, and of course, second fight was a draw. Yeah. But the first fight, he stopped Benn. Um, Eubank was one of the bravest of the brave. Mm. I mean, he was an. Inc- oh. I know. Warrior. I, I know all the uh, the nonsense he the got training, up to. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, you know the sort of dilettante type. Yeah. 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 But when you put him in that ring. He was as brave as I have to say, Colin, Simon and I were humbled by the gentleman who sat in that very seat you're sitting on uh, just last week. Michael Watson Mm. was here in Mm. studio with us, a man you know well and will have spoken to on many occasions. There wasn't a dry eye in the house after that man had Mm. spoken. He he, he really was quite sensational, I have to say, in his own way uh, in in this studio. Yeah, I was at Tottenham that night, obviously. (laughs) You were there. uh, I mean, it was... I'll never forget what happened there. Nobody who was there will ever forget it. And, uh, you know, um, he thought he'd beaten Eubank. He almost did, he, didn't he? On the 11th round, he had him on the floor. Yeah. And Chris, how he got, not only got up, he landed that right uppercut, which caused mm. all the trouble. Mind you, the delay. I do not blame, I do not blame is the wrong word. I do not think Eubank was the cause of Michael Watson's It's trouble. a delay, wasn't it, for the oxygen? It, well, there was all that to it, but I think um, the the, um, the Mike, American... Mike McCullum. Mike McCullum. Yeah, I saw that fight. Did all the, all the damage, damage yeah. of the, yeah. Yeah. the fight yeah. before. Uh, no, not the, the couple of fights before. Yeah. To Michael Watson. And, him, yeah. and McCullum gave him a terrible beating. Yeah. Body snatch, right? And yeah. uh, that... I think caused that was a big part. Yeah, I saw that. I went to that. That was a big part of it. So, I mean, can you, Trevor? You watch the fight on Saturday. I know you're into your boxing as well. Um, Can you second guess it for us, Colin? Eubank Junior going in against Liam Williams. If Williams is to win it, what fight does he fight? His usual fight. You know, he's he's a strong, tough competitor, 
uh, but he hasn't got the class. Uh, I think Eubank is a much classier fighter. The only trouble with young Chris, he's not a big puncher. He's not young anymore either. That's right. He's, he's not, he's 32. 32. Yeah. So he's not, he's not a young he's not man young anymore. anymore. He's 32 well, years uh, old. No, I mean, he's 32. But, yeah. he, but uh, Trevor, he hasn't been knocked about. No mileage, yeah. No. Uh, I mean, he lost... Uh, Two tough fights. Oh, I wouldn't say Betty Joe Saunders was, was a hard fight, but he didn't get knocked about. No, I thought he, he grew into that fight. And yeah. if the fight was longer, maybe he, he got have properly, to turn he got that properly schooled by George Groves, though, didn't he? Yes, George Groves yeah. schooled him. He did. Yeah, but he, he throughout a thirty-two fight career, he's never been beaten. Never up. been not much mileage on the no. clock, is there? Right. Yeah. Do, do you take Eubank Junior to start Williams? No, Colin. I think he'll win on points, mm. and he'll have to win it big. Because he's in Cardiff. He's in Cardiff, yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Good point. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.